Welcome to the 1000 subscriber special for Dogs 1515. Ultimate Duel was released on YouTube about a year ago and has 35,000 views and growing. Today you're going to learn how to create the Ultimate Duel effect and how to make it look like an image is actually a part of a video. The image of Judgment Dragon looks like it is actually a part of this video. If you want to see the actual video, link is in the sidebar. Just check it out. Um, all right, what you want to do is right click, go to new composition, uh, go to the preset, let's go to HD 720p, but if you use standard definition video, which is more square, go to NTSC DV, that is the best choice, but I'm using HD right now. HD, HD video, all it is is just a street. What you want to do is right click, go to new null object, we'll go to layer, new layer, new no object, okay. Highlight the street layer, okay. Um, go to window, tracker controls. Hit track motion, and now what, what we're doing here is we're going to track the motion of this video. So, whatever uh, point in the video we track, it will track the motion, create keyframes, so we can put an image on the video and make it stick to the video, make it look like it's actually a part of the video. Because when the camera moves, this car stays in place in real life, but it doesn't move along with the camera. So uh, here we're going to highlight position, make sure position and rotation is highlighted. Click rotation. Go to edit target. Make sure it is attached to your null object, whatever number it is. Does make sure uh, it's uh, the number that you want it to be. I want it to be null two. You'll probably have null one. Um, okay. Now find two points in your video that are very that do not move, do not get covered by any moving anything. Uh, that do not move, do not get covered by any moving objects and that are easy to see and not blurry. Here we have a black dot right here that is very easy to read. Uh, make sure you're also at the beginning of your composition. So uh, here I have a black dot and then over here I'm going to attach to this license plate right here. So now we have two easy to track points. Click this little arrow and go analyze forward. Now what it's doing is tracking and applying keyframes. So wherever this position moves, it has a keyframe for it. Click apply X and Y, uh, apply X and Y, OK. And now your null object is attached to the video. As you can see, it's not moving. It looks like it's actually there along with the car. This is what the point of this was, um, to actually create the illusion of an image staying on a video. Now bring down your card. I have Dark Arm Dragon right here. What you do is select the pen tool and start masking him out. What you do, what this is, is as you click around, you're creating an outline. And when you go back to the position, and uh, when, when you cut out the uh, whatever you want, it cuts it out pretty much. It creates an outline. So uh, you, in order to do this, you just click, click, and if you want to create a round edge, you click and drag. So you can go anywhere you want. You could change the size of both sides of the edge. So when you click around. And you have to end it by going back to the original position and clicking that. Okay. Uh, and cut out your image. Spend as much time as you can on this. I'm not going to cut out Dark Arm Dragon for time's sake because this takes a long time. But make sure it is very precise and the more time you spend on cutting him out, the better. See, look, I cut out part of his leg already. Right here, as you can see. But make sure you cut out the whole body. I have a link in the sidebar for pre-cut out images, PNG images. So uh, that's what we're going to be using today, a pre-cut out version of Judgment Dragon. Position, uh, go to the beginning of where you want to animate, position Judgment Dragon. I put him in the middle of the street, okay. And then hit this little swirly thing, click and hold it. Now you could drag this thing and attach it to layers. You want to attach the Judgment Dragon layer to the Null Object layer. So wherever it moves, it is attached to the Null Object layer. And look, when you animate, when you click render uh, on the top right right here, this little thing says RAM preview, click that, let it load, and then bam, it is attached to the video. You have done it. You have successfully created the illusion of an image sticking to a video. And this is how uh, Ultimate Duel is created. But we're going to go a little further, uh, just... Uh, Cover a little bit more details you want you should cover. Now that you know how to create the illusion of having an image stick to the video, go to layer new solid, 
Make sure it's black, hit OK. Then uh, create like a little circle around the bottom, or whatever the perspective is of your monster. Hit F, so bring up the mask feather properties, and feather it out, not too much. See, now we created a little shadow. You can duplicate it, feather it less for the second. Sorry, uh, duplicate the layer, make this one less of a feather, so it makes it a darker type of uh, thing. You just want to match whatever kind of shadow you see under these cars right here, which is general. Um, what I did here was I made the shadow under the dragon, and I had a uh, I had it extrude out to a little bit uh, hit the wing, but. That's little details you don't really need to follow. And what you need to do is, uh, you don't need to do this, sorry, but um, this looks fine the way it is, it looks perfect. Uh, oh yeah, except you have to, uh, whatever shadow, what you absolutely have to do is create, uh, whatever shadows or whatever else you add to your image or, or video, you have to make sure they're linked to the null object so they move with the video. And then next you want to, uh, if you have Action Essentials, bring in Fire 6, make it small, Put that right there. Go bring in ground crack four and ground crack thirteen. Make them both to overlay. It's the transfer mode. Make it small. Make ground crack four very small. Ground crack thirteen big. Or whichever way you want, vice versa. Vice versa. Um, okay. Now it looks like the ground's actually cracked. You could bring in puffy smoke two. Put that right where the smoke starts. Put it above the fire. Maybe create a mask. Cut off the bottoms because it's not so sharp. Create a feather. Go to the mask properties. Feather it out so it blends in. And then there you go. You have a. Uh, oh yeah, you have to make sure everything is tra uh, attached to the null. Make sure all of the fire and all of the cracks are attached to the null object. And then there you go. You have a uh, pretty sweet looking uh, composition here. All you have to do is um, you just have to edit yourself uh, little details and stuff. Like what I did here was I color corrected a little bit. So you could just go to layer, new, adjustment layer, effect, color correction, curves, make it a little bit higher and lower, make an S curve. Make the contrast a little bit more noticeable. Maybe even give it a warmish tint. Make the red up, the green down, blue down. Give it a warm tint. Uh, maybe even give uh, give the fire um, a glow. A effect, stylize, glow. You really just have to play around. Make the radius bigger. Just play around completely with all of everything, all, all of this. Uh, give the smoke, let's say, effect color correction curves uh, higher of a exposure so it looks wider. And uh, yeah, just play around. Um, this is the basics of how to create ultimate dual type, uh, type of uh, animation. And as you can see, the smoke is making him look very menacing. And he's just like on the video. It's like he's actually there, you know? So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope this really helped you. I would like to see what you guys come up with. All right, bye.